Welcome! I wanted to make a quick video today about the Schmidt Rubin K11 scope mount that's made by Swiss Products USA. And funny story, they're actually based in Kalispell, Montana, where I'm from. And so when I did get this rifle and I was looking up um, a scope mount for it, it was just in town here for me, which is crazy. And I even got to talk to the gentleman who I believe designed all the products on the website and his son who um, I actually met to pick this up from. So yeah, really cool people, very knowledgeable and passionate about these rifles and what they do. And yeah, it was super cool to get to meet them. So they do have a phone number you can contact them at. I would say, yeah, don't even hesitate if you have any other questions. I'm gonna try to go over some of the, some things in this video, but I would definitely contact them. They will be very helpful and yeah, they're very, very cool people. Back to the scope mount. Um, I took a picture of the box here for you guys, just so you get to see what it looks like, but on the inside even has a picture of how to install it. Further inside of it, um, the instructions on how to sight it in. I'll take some more pictures of the actual scope mount on mine. I haven't gotten around to getting it sighted in. I've tried, but I did not follow the instructions, and so I was having problems with it. So when I do go out here soon, I need to make sure I <laughs> listen to the instructions and yeah, get it sighted in. I do intend on using this for this upcoming rifle season. The tricky thing that I kind of ran into is finding the scope rings and that's because the scope mount has a dovetail, uh, I think like three fourths, something like that. And it is uh, trickier too because it's usually for uh, like rimfire scopes or um, like 22s. So it was a little weird. It kind of, kind of threw me off when I was trying to find um, scope rings for it, but I took a picture of the scope rings that I got. These are just the ones that I have. If you have a different one that you got or find another one while you're doing research, let us know in the comments just because, I mean, these are just the ones that I found and that I'm going to be trying to use. Something interesting to note is I got medium profile ones, so they sit lower, and the first scope that I got is a Weaver 4 power, and this actually did not work since it was sitting too low and was getting in the way it just wouldn't set. So unfortunately couldn't use this one, but this one, you know, old Weaver scope, pretty, it was pretty cheap. I think I just got it on eBay. So I got a different one, and this one is um, a 3 power, so I would have preferred a 4 power, but this is just what I have. and. We're just gonna roll with it. So it's a three power, it has a post reticle, which I think is pretty cool. Not sure how effective it will be, but <laughs> we're, we're also just gonna roll with it because I think this whole rifle is just super cool. So we're just gonna try to be as unique as we can with it. I ended up going with this one. It did, um, it was able to work, it did fit. It didn't run into the, um, the iron sights here. I also took a picture of the ammo that I intend to use, um, yeah, you can just find this ammo seek or if you just look up the ammo 7.5 by 55, yeah, find some options. I think, I think I was paying about like 24, 25 bucks a box. I have a handful right now, so I'm good. I haven't checked recently, so that's what I paid for. That should be around the ballpark. I also got a replacement um, reproduction sling. It did come with the original, but it was in pretty rough shape. I tried, um, you know, leather conditioning on it and getting it cleaned up and all that, but I just ended up going with this for right now, just so ease of mind. So I'm afraid the old one will snap, but this one just got it from Amazon for like 30 bucks. But yeah, I just wanted to make this video real quick to go over what I have and show you guys more about the scope mount if you're interested in it and you wanted to see it. But I'm definitely, I'll definitely make a video after, after I go hunting and give you guys an update on 
how it did, if I used it, if I got something with it, to see how it goes. But really cool rifle, and I just wanted to share all that information with you guys. And yeah, hopefully you'll see another video um, from me and this guy uh, pretty soon. Heck yeah. Frick yeah. Pardon my language.